Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, what we are going to do is what you see on my screen. So if this is something you are interested in, all I have to say is stay tuned and I should be right back after the intro. So before we get started in today's design, I would like to talk about you hear that <laughs> i would like to talk about canva pro and um just in case you're looking at having more done in canva for example if you want to be able to move your background images in canva if you want to be able to publish your design directly from canva to you know any social media platform if you want to be able to work with multiple clients from your account by adding their brand kit to your account to be able to you know make designs for them easily you know canva pro can help you to do that and also if you're looking at resizing your design to various dimensions canva pro can also help you do that and i think there's even one more thing with canva pro you can be able to download a design without a background so it's also available in canva pro so you know with all of these interesting features i want you to be able to at least have a taste of it so there's a link in the description box below that can help you to try canva pro for free for 30 days so if this is something you would really really like to try kindly check the description box below to find the link okay and the other thing i want to talk about is the assorted canva template i came up with so it's a bundle of 10 different designs i have created and put together for you and i also you know slashed it down by 75 percent so that you can have it because the aim is to provide value to you the link is in the description box below so check it out and you know get yours you understand so without any much ado let's dive into canva to get started with today's design okay so this design is very easy and very simple and um you can see we are not really going to do much if you saw my previous tutorial i don't know if i've shared this already or not but this is a tutorial i made and it has a little bit of similarity when it comes to this design okay so um yeah make sure you check it out so i would click on add a new page and uh, the next thing i'm going to do is to come to upload in upload i'm going to search for the light uh, design i added okay so not a design but it's rather an element you understand so i will just scroll down quickly to find it and this is it okay so then i come to edit image in edit image i would come to do a tone okay so i just search for duo and i find duo tone then i just choose any of the options once you click on it the first time it should apply the effect but if you click on it the second time you see these two options which is the highlight and the shadows the highlight usually focuses on the brighter part of the element or any um, image at all you want to apply the dual tone effect to and the shadows always um, focuses on the darker part of the element that's why you can't really see the shadow because this is the light okay so once you click on highlight and we apply white you can see automatically it becomes white but you can see a little bit of the shadows okay so to clear it all out would also make it um white okay then i click on apply then close this up and um then just come to adjust in adjust click on see all and um and add some blurriness to your element okay then increase the size to something like this even though we do not want it too bright so we come to transparency to reduce the brightness of it okay so i think let me okay so something like this is fine i think i'll increase the blurriness more okay so that we can have something like this which is view okay so now what we are going to do is to create this beautiful polaroid um thing i have over here so press r on your keyboard for um rectangle or for a square okay and we will change the color to white but just in case your r is missing or maybe your keyboard has no r come to element okay and in element you just have to go into line and shapes you see you know this is it over here you can just choose it okay so now we will just um you know what, what am i even saying we would look just don't mind how i'm speaking i'm just rushing okay so resize your shape okay to something like this okay then you can position it in the center okay maybe let me sh okay and uh, make it longer okay so something like this is fine then i will just you know keep it to the center then i would come to um grids like we have over here okay 
then I will just crop it, crop it, or resize. As yeah, I think the right word is resize, not crop. Okay, and I'll bring it to the front. So this is how it's going to look like. Okay, so we we'll just center and make sure everything is looking interesting. Okay, then we we'll drop it down a little bit. And now to make this interesting, um, let me maybe increase the size more. Okay, so to make our design look interesting because it looks too flat right now, so we are going to add some shadows to the shape. Okay, and you know in Canva we don't have the option to add shadows. You know, for example, to a shape, even if you add a shadow, you know it's not going to be applied. So what we are going to do is um, go to Element of the African Geeks .com, Okay, and um, you will find a shadow. Okay, or just search for shadow. Okay, you see the shadow I'm about to show you. So I will scroll down more. Oh, I think let me just skip this process because I have to scroll down very, very like, yeah. All right, so this is the shadow I am talking about. So I will move it down here, okay? And I will crop it because this is the only part I need. Then I would increase the size. Okay, so maybe I'll reduce it slightly and move it here so that it fits, you know, the width of my um, shape. Then I will send it, you know, up like this and i will send it to the back okay then what we are also going to do next is we will duplicate it and um, come to flip okay and flip it vertically then you move it to the top over here okay then place it over here and make sure it doesn't fall into um the grid okay so then i send it to the back so select all of this okay and press shift and select the shadow over here and group all of them so you can come here and choose group okay but um the reason why we didn't add the grid is because i don't know for some reasons you are unable to group them you're not you understand you're, you're unable to group a grid and a shape or a grid and anything else i don't know why it has to be this way so now what we have to do is we would select the whole thing okay and rotate it slightly and reduce the size according to your preference okay so i'll position it somewhere here and if we come here you see that we just added some bags okay so come to element and um, in element you just search for i think i search for suitcase okay so once you search for suitcase there are so many options that would pop up so after you search and just in case you are not finding any um suitcase without a removed background just click on the filter um, button over here okay then you see cut out so you can choose cut out only and apply the filter so this would give you a lot of options you know with no um, background so you can choose any of the options at all so maybe for the sake of this tutorial i can even choose you know this one which shows i'm going for vacation because we like to keep our stuff open <laughs> and maybe uh this one okay but the interesting thing is you would have to arrange it in a way that um you know it should just look natural that's the thing okay so maybe we can just position this here if necessary maybe increase the size a little bit and then get some extra bags but um you know just to be able to skip all of this up and downs i will just select these bags i used okay and paste it here so this is what we have at the moment you understand then we would just search for maybe city okay or any place at all if it's paris or any place at all and um you know choose any photo at all of your choice so i'll just uncheck the cutout so that i can get interesting places or let me just choose beach okay okay so you can see interesting beaches um over here then we'll just place it over here but you should use an interesting image it should send the message of vacation and things like that so i think this looks really interesting okay so yeah depending on the photo you want you can just do that then the next thing you are going to do is to add all your information so i added this text with the text i'll just copy and paste just to be able to save you some time okay and just in case you're wondering what text is this this is called a regular brush text okay and uh, i will select all of this and drop it down a little bit okay to somewhere like this all right 
then um what we are going to do next is also add this shape okay so i would also copy and paste the shape and show you how i went about it okay so i copied and pasted it no i added the shape <laughs> and i made sure i rotated it to fit um you know the frame or the polaroid we've created and i sent it behind that okay so that it will look um dramatic a little bit okay then we added the text that's what i just did to it so you can just choose any um text you can see anything of your choice and just place it directly on top you understand then create you know we are just going to be able to create this one too so we are just going to create this one too okay so um just first of all choose a circle okay and the circle can have any color at all of your choice then come here to element and select circle again or search for circle again you know you would find this over here reduce the size okay and uh, make sure you reduce it it should be smaller a little bit than the initial one you added and choose the color to any color at all you want so after you do that you just have to add your text okay like i have done over here then you know it's now left with all of these petty petty information we have on our design so in this case i will just copy and paste but depending on the information you want to have on your design you know you can just place it on it and um yeah that's all about it so you can see this is what we have been able to create but this looks more dramatic i don't know why um this doesn't look dramatic okay i think i i get it it's because of the size of the polaroid we created okay so maybe to make it more dramatic i would rotate it more okay and um, i'll do the same over here so i would also rotate this one more okay just to fit what we've been able to do and i'll drop it down okay nice one and the rotation also affect this and we'll drop it down okay so this is what we were able to do and um yeah this is and yes this is what i was able to do to be able to create this design inside of canva so you can also send me your design after you are done and you want me to critique your design you can send it to um benjaminmino at gmail.com just in case you want me to make a video um critiquing and improving upon your design so yes this was how i went about creating this design and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial just in case you're looking at um having more canva tutorials there are three things you have to do first of all hit on the subscribe button hit on the bell icon which is the second thing and the third thing is to check my channel for more canva tutorials the name is benjamin don't forget to check out canva pro and don't forget to also um, check out the assorted canva template bundle always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next tutorial.